on any of this. <laughs> <laughs> I've only just started recording. I've only just started recording this. We've been oh, in for an was, hour and a half, Sam. There was some gold in that last bit as well. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> Fuck. I wish we could redo all the stuff we said about the homeless, but we can't. <laughs> it still just seems staged now. <laughs> Oh, God. oh fuck. <laughs> what a waste of everyone's time. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm not i I'm not starting with this one. I'm not starting with fucking Asia and Australia. No. This this whole conversation about Asia and Australia has been dog shit. It has been terrible. Yeah. So do you, do you have to do you have to do uh, an intro again? <laughs> oh god, that last one was terrible as well. It's pretty bad. I want to see some real enthusiasm in it this time. So, hey everybody, welcome to Would You Rather, where we choose one thing or the other. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, <laughs> I'm here with my my guest today, uh, Lee Smith. Yes, it is his real name. Uh, he for tax reasons. Also, funny fact, uh, Lee Smith is French for The Smith. So there we go. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but, um, what's it called? Yeah, that, was, yeah. that, that is my nickname. I'm like the, the Smith. <laughs> uh, um, so yeah, and, uh, he, like me, is a nobody. Um, <laughs> but we both do stand up comedy on open mic circuits, and he does a a thing called a podcast about movies that you can drink to, and Correct. doesn't and doesn't Maybe drink. We watch the movies uh, that would force you to drink, would would like make you drink, so that you don't have to, and we just explain them, like home movies of births. That'd make me drink. <laughs> Just videos of my birth. <laughs> Just from every cam camera angle imaginable. Yeah. Somehow they've got a camera angle from inside the womb of you coming out. <laughs> camera angles of my mother that I never needed to see. <laughs> <laughs> the strange look of arousal in your in your father's eyes as it happened. <laughs> Daddy, no! <laughs> oh, I can't believe I've not been fucking recording this entire time. Anyway, we're not going with this one because go to Asia or Australia. Just for the people at home, so they know. Mm. You get two choices with the Would You Rather. You get insanely dark humour or you get funny humour. All right, And we chose the insanely dark humour and... Our first question was, would you rather spend a million dollars in Vegas or on clothes? <laughs> and our second question is, <laughs> would you rather go to Asia or go to Australia? So I don't know I don't if know. they're working up to the dark ones <laughs> like, and stuff. The next one's like, would you rather go to Asia for small children? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or, or Australia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go. Let's go Asia. Oh, come on, you slag. Why is it not working? All right, well, let's reload this then. This is not working. All right, okay. All right, here we go. We've got a good one. Would you rather shoot a kitten in the face, all right, or stack a kitten, stack a kitten in the back, no eye contact? I think it means stab a kitten, but whoever has written this is... An idiot. I don't know. Yeah, well, yeah. Stack yeah. a kitten in the back. So, would you rather shoot it or stab it in the back? So, shooting it in the face, right, my question is, is that's kind of clear. Mm. Shooting it in the face is a clear thing, but stabbing it in the back, does it mean, like, you know, gain his trust and then... Go yeah, and it wants it. unawares. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
while it's at the ATM or something. <laughs> well, I was thinking, <laughs> uh-huh. I was thinking more become really friendly with the kitten and then one day just betray it and stab it in the back that way. <laughs> Steal its girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, to be fair, I mean, I think if I'm going to end a kitten, I, I'd want to see the look on its face as I shoot it. Yeah, I think you owe it to the kitten, don't you? You do. Oh, it, the kitten needs to know it's you that it's ending that is ending its life. I mean, sneaking up on it or whatever. Uh, I think that's unfair. That is a cowardly move, isn't it? Sneaking up on it a is. kitten. It is. It is. And I don't think t- kittens kittens. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think kittens should be underestimated like this as well. I mean, they, they they can be quite fearsome. So if you're brave enough to take one out, you should do it face to face. What fucking what kittens are you talking about? Uh, like <laughs> tiger kittens. Oh yeah. <laughs> or those like mountain lions. They look like kittens a bit. They do look a bit like kittens. Yeah, from far away. <laughs> Everything looks like a kitten from far away. <laughs> I can't see that. Is that a kitten? <laughs> you get closer and it's a walrus. It's like, oh no, that was how did I how did I ever think that, that was a kitten? I see it now. I don't know I don't know how I got those two mixed up. <laughs> Bellowing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so what are the pros of shooting the kitten in the face? Um, but the, all the pros are for the kitten, really. The kitten knows that uh, its life is about to be ended, so it has time to accept its own mortality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. I can see that. I mean, there's no, like, I mean, the only benefits for for, for us doing the shooting is we get to see um, the light in its eyes go out. Okay, yeah, that's fair enough. All yeah. right, well, okay. If you play, if you play the the shooty, I'll play the kitten. Okay. All right. So, I would. Uh, uh, I just so you're the kitten, yeah. That's yeah. There you go. Game character. Uh, right, kitten. Uh, <laughs> Right, kitten. Uh, it, it, your, your, your time drinking milk is done. No, there's no, there's no excuses for what you've done. So this is it. Assuming you're using a high caliber bullet. Of course, you don't want to yeah. fuck around with kittens, but yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, no, that's me. Really... You should put that on a t shirt, mate. You don't want to fuck <laughs> around with kittens. <laughs> my preferred choice of weapon would be a blunderbuss. <laughs> <laughs> Just pepper and that I kitten stand up. There, I stand there in front of the kitten, like pouring the powder in, <laughs> and then <laughs> like plunging it or whatever. <laughs> okay. All right. And now. And now I'm a kitten, and you're gonna uh, stab the kitten in the back. All right. So like you're at you're at like an ATM or something, or you're in a you're buying c- cigarettes in uh, ASDA. Okay. All right. Uh, meow. I'll have some meow, bros, please. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Stab. Uh, yeah. See, there's no no fun in that. It did seem easier, though. It, it was easier. There was a very little danger of um, getting one of those, like, scratches that they dole out. Yeah, but now the cashier's like, you've just killed a paying customer. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So, yeah, I think, yeah, obviously shooting it in the face. Maybe we should have done this in an alley. <laughs> yeah, I think that would have been... Because now, yeah, I mean, you've just killed a kitten... And there's definitely CCTV footage of it. Oh yeah, this is this has been a very public backstabbing. Yeah, this is right. like American. This is like American gangster when Denzel shoots Idris Elba right in the face. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, we didn't we didn't plan this at all. Yeah, because that we, comes back to it. bite him. <laughs> we try the other kind of backstabbing with the kitten. Okay, all right. Like you're the kitten. Right, and I would come up and I'd be like, and I'd tap you on the shoulder. Oh no, because I've no eye contact, isn't it? I'd just come up behind you and I'd just whisper into your ear and go, "I'm sorry, but me and your mum are in love and we're gonna get married." Okay, all right, right, okay. I'll play the kitten. All right, I'm just, I'm just walking through an alley, having a cool time. I know my mum's single. We're great. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh my God, a bird! I'm gonna pounce on that bird. I'm going to pounce on it. Before you get that bird, just know that me and your mother are in love and I've been doing a kitten style. <laughs> oh, God, you backstabber. Well, yeah. I mean, that does seem more heartbreaking, that one. Yeah, honestly, I think that, that kitten, because I, I would be a terrible stepdad as well. <laughs> the main thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. But we're going to go, so short and sweet, we're going to go shoot the kitten in the face. Shoot it in the face. All right. Face of the kitten. Let's see. Oh, come on, you whore. Okay. Well. Dying up internet or something. Oh, there we go. 59% of people agreed with shooting the kitten in the face. So the majority would shoot a kitten in the face. Yeah, there's still a, a, quite a few people. Like forty-one percent would still stab the kitten. The cowards, fucking cowards. <laughs> I bet they, <laughs> they're doing that for themselves as well. They're like, I just couldn't, I couldn't look a kitten in the face if I stabbed it. Like fucking, it's not about you. It's about the kitten at the end yeah. of the day. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh, so selfish. They um, are. Awful people. All right. Uh, would you rather uh, be in the Hunger Games, being the person who dies again and again and again and again and again, <laughs> or be a black person in, in the 1800s? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of death on either, either one, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think they know what the Hunger Games is either, because when you die in the Hunger Games, you're just a person that's died in the Hunger Games. Well, how do you what, how do you die again and again and again and again? Well, that's my that's my point. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, I mean, Jennifer Lawrence is in the Hunger Games, and like a lot of whipping and lynching and stuff was in the 1800s but for, for black people i mean i'm not gonna lie i i i no i've seen 12 years a slave um i'm not up for that but to all. be fair we've assumed that being a black person in the 1800s is that we've been caught and we are a slave we're not we've not you know we might be one of the ones that just didn't get caught and we're still in africa chilling out I mean, even for for most of like um i mean it still wasn't a fun time like for, <laughs> for the, the oppression was real like um, <laughs> and was was pretty bad yeah um, that's true i mean although like so cuz i mean there were quite um quite a few like black people who were very well off like in that sort of time yeah cuz they uh, sold slaves yeah yeah, some of them did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, like if you can't beat them, <laughs> uh, you can't. Yeah, but you can beat them. Slaves were beaten all the time. It's <laughs> <laughs> the point. You can do what you want with them, Lee. They're slaves. Fuck. Fuck it out. <laughs> <laughs> um. um so, I mean, the eighteen hundreds would have been shit anyway, wouldn't it? Like, yeah, it's it's not it's not a time period I would want to visit at all. And then, yeah, the Hunger Games get to hang out with Jennifer Lawrence a little bit, um, and die again. What? I was just I was just gonna say she doesn't seem like a fun person to hang out with in 
in the Hunger Games. Really? I think she's quite funny. In the Hunger um, Games? Not in the Hunger Games. Oh, you're talking about the character. No, she's a bit fucking... Eh. Yeah. What about survival? Um, what about volunteering as tribute? Yeah, we get it. Um, but yeah, I think I'd like... I, I mean, I have spent a large chunk of my life being quite suicidal. So mate, the thought of dying again and again and again and again kind of appeals to me a little bit. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of my problems with the Hunger Games is that out of all of the people that die in yeah. the Hunger Games, you know, when the like somebody dies, the klaxon goes off, and it's like, yeah, okay, there's, there's this many people remaining. Nobody died. You, nobody got caught taking a shit. <laughs> You know what I mean? They were in there for like a week and nobody took a shit. You've muted yourself, Merley. Uh, yeah, you don't see anything like that at all. Sorry, somebody just tried to ring me. Well, <laughs> 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 um, I'll, uh, I don't, know. I don't think it's realistic, is it? Like, no, I mean it's with with any film really. Like the the like I mean in Castaway, I, I've never seen Castaway, but do you see him having a shit? He never has a shit. No, not once. You would no. be like backed up. Yeah. By the time you got rescued, if you were never taking a shit, and to be honest, like in, in terms of the Hunger Games as well, if you just saved it all up, if you was like, nah, I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna shit at all, then I mean you wouldn't be that great at running away. Yeah. Like, as somebody with Crohn's disease, I mean, <laughs> I know what it's like. <laughs> well, that's the thing as well, is the day before the Hunger Games starts, they all have a massive feast. Yeah. And so you're telling me that that feast didn't get digested in any way. You're telling me at that feast, right, all of the cooks are so good that nobody there got food poisoning. Bullshit. Yeah. I call him bullshit on that one. <laughs> Maybe they take like a bunch of laxatives straight afterwards, and then just like and and then just clear themselves out so they're like ready, ready. So they're like they're like aerodynamic, aerodynamic, <laughs> which is what happens. It's physics, Sam. So what happens when you're not oh, yeah. like storing poo up? Like you're immediately aerodynamic. Oh fuck! Yeah, see, learn something every day. I didn't know you were a man of science, Lee. I am practically a professor. <laughs> I did, uh, I did um, science level two at school. <laughs> oh, did you level two? Level two. I think so. I think it was level two. Like it was. I don't know. There's a lot of pictures. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I think. I mean. Yeah, I think it, it probably would be better than, I mean, because I'm not, you know, I think it's a bit generalised, though, because being a black person, like you said, some of them were quite rich. Yes. Like, so if I was one of those, I'd be like, yeah, all right, I'll be I'll be that guy. Yeah. Yeah. And this was before, like, like, obviously, we're talking about Africa. This is before AIDS was a thing as well. Right. So... No AIDS. Malaria, still, I think. I don't know if it was... Smallpox, um, polio. Oh, yes. That's true. Yeah, that stuff does suck. Yeah. Yeah, and there's no... Um, what's it called? Uh, not antihistamine, antibiotics. So if you, like, scratch yourself, you you have to cut your arm off. Well, yeah, basically. Like, I think so, yeah, because I... I don't know when penicillin was invented, but like I think it was sometime during the 1800s. So no, it I don't like know. It was like 1957 or something like that. No, it was fucking before that. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. 1957. Right, I'm gonna Google this. I don't know where my phone is though. There it is. I'm telling you. Right. Okay. When was penicillin? Discovered. I'm pretty sure it was like 18 something. Oh no, 1928. 1928. Yeah. Have you just made that up? No, I've just I've just googled it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. 
1928. So up until then, they had like no form of like antibiotic. Yeah, somebody like I, I remember reading about it in a in a book I think was called Body, and it came out and um and what's it called? There was this guy who scratched his thumb on a thorn, a rose thorn, because he was a gardener, and his whole arm became infected, and he looked as though he was going to die. All right, and right. They found they found penicillin in the mold on a piece of bread, and then they fed, uh, they put, they gave him some of that, like injected him with some of that, and he felt better. Uh, but they run out of uh the synthesized mold, so he felt better for like two days, and then two days later he died because the infection got him from from his thumb scratching a rose. It's fucking mental. That's insane. So hang on, there was like fucking. He went to the doctors or whatever, and he was like, oh, I've scratched my thumb and it hurts quite a lot. Like, it's looking a bit manky and that. And he was like, oh, I've just, I've got this old sandwich. Like, we could try rubbing <laughs> that on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just found uh, it was at the bottom of my bag. My mum packed my packed lunch and I forgot it was there. It's been in there like a month. Like, well, uh, well, I mean, uh, I don't really, I don't really want to do that, Doc. Um well, it's the only way. It's the only way. Like, um, trust me, I am a doctor. So you're telling but... me it's rub an old sandwich on this wound or die? Well, yeah. I mean, maybe not just rub it on there. Maybe like we'll wrap the sandwich around the thumb and oh. then tape it on. Uh, maybe keep it on there for a couple of days. Let the mold really set in. <laughs> I've got. To, I've got to be honest, Doc. This doesn't sound helpful. Listen. Listen, I'm a doctor. I make up all kinds of nonsense every day to help people. Like the the NHS is m- years in the future. This is your best bet. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I mean. I've come here privately. Do you, do you know what kind of wage I'm on as a gardener? And this is the advice you're giving me. What the fuck, man? <laughs> I mean, yeah, gardeners were the highest paid people in the 1800s. They definitely would have had private health care. I, I, in my mind, I'm playing one of those doctors with the big old beak mask on as well, like a plague oh, yeah. doctor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I like, guess you're yeah. the doctor. Yeah, absolutely. I've got the hat, got the pointy face hat. Pointy face hat. Quack. <laughs> <laughs> got my okay. duck costume on. <laughs> it does look like that, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, so we're going to go Hunger Games, is that? Yeah, yeah. Hunger Games is the way forward. I have to keep reloading this piece of shit. All right. 55% of people agree. So 45% of people would rather be black in the 1800s. I mean, okay. Well. But, uh, I mean, it's all about where you are, I guess. Like, obviously, America was... Some some states in America didn't have slavery. It's not like it was an entire country thing, hence why there was a war in the end. Well, that's also like, you know, it's yeah, but it's not like there was no slavery and then all the black people were just really happy to be there. <laughs> <laughs> it was still shit. Like... Yeah, it was still shit. It yeah, was yeah. still shit. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Um. Uh, would you rather lick a cactus or kiss a butt of a dog? I mean, oh, what dog? What kind of dog? <laughs> what kind of dog? Um, let's make it. Let's make it. Uh. I don't know what breeds you know, to be fair. So if I come out on like a, a breed, like if I say like a bull mastiff. Yeah, know. I know what I know what dogs look like. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're not gonna bamboozle me with some random I've I've spent time around dogs. Yeah, but the thing is, is if this dog is far away, it looks like a cat. <laughs> 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 I once fell for a, a, a con where I bought a dog and I turned up and it was a walrus. <laughs> like, and I... <laughs> but me and Wally lived happily together for twenty five years. And they were like, "No, no, his name's Dog." 
<laughs> Dog the walrus. <laughs> It's fucking. That sounds like really a like a, a really cool children's book or something. <laughs> Dog the walrus. Today we're okay. today, children. We're going to read Dog the Walrus. <laughs> <laughs> the walrus with the personality disorder. <laughs> uh, um, why well, doesn't uh, say how hard you have to lick the cactus? Does it? No, see, so, yeah, I'm going for Nick a cactus because you're less likely to get, I don't know, Will's disease or something. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, if you get a couple of prickles... I mean, licking a cactus, I mean, if you've ever been in a long-term relationship... <laughs> <laughs> I know at first, it's everything's kind of, like, kept like looked after and stuff but after a while when you're both comfortable with each other and you go down there and it's been like a week or so it's the same isn't it yeah, the same as fair. licking a cactus a f- it is just like licking a cactus yeah. and to be fair it, that's never bothered me too much so mm, like if no. at all to be honest so yeah i'm going for lick a cactus don't really want to kiss the butt of a dog um yeah also i don't know who wrote this mm. but wouldn't it be lick a cacti? No, uh, it would be lick no, cacti. cacti. Isn't cacti as multiple? That's right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. God, so I this look, is, I look this so is lick right cacti. Now. You could be that could be unlimited number of cactuses. Mm. Right. Yeah, you're right. So like, yeah. So it's definitely lick a cactus. Uh, to be honest, I mean, if this isn't a hundred percent lick a cactus, then there's some fucked up people out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's time to find out, I think. Yeah. 56% of 9,601 people believe... Say that again, 56%? Yeah, of 9,000 and something people. Would lick a cactus? Uh-huh. So was that 44%? Would rather kiss a dog's butt. Wow. That's I mean, I'm... I don't want to kink shame, but No, but I mean, yeah, that that's that's I mean, that's a choice. They've made that choice. Like they haven't they they've thought this through as as probably as as much as we have uh and gone or or there's people out there that just went easy kiss the dog's <laughs> butt straight away <laughs> yeah yeah. There was there were people there there were there's people that like in an alternate universe Lee, there's me and you here, and we're like, obviously kick a do- kiss a dog's butt. Like, who's going to lick a cactus? That's disgusting. That's the weirdest <laughs> thing. I, and, then there's a, and then you're there like, I don't know, but if you've been in a long-term relationship, it's like, it's like kissing a dog's butt. Just I I I kissed seven dogs' butts on the way here tonight. So, uh, that's how we greet dogs. Yeah, yeah. What is wrong with you? Why aren't you <laughs> greeting my dog? <laughs> Fuck it out. Fuck it out. Um. All right. Uh, would you rather have sex with Mother Teresa? Or Freddie Mercury. I'm guessing it means or have or sex have sex with Freddie Mercury. With, yeah, yeah. Not just or or just Freddie Mercury will appear. Yeah, just Freddie Mercury just appears. <laughs> um, I mean, Mother Teresa wasn't bad looking for like 111 or whatever however old she was. Yeah, well, um, I mean, she wasn't always 100, 111, was she? No, I mean, I've never seen any pictures. I assumed that she just appeared one day and was like <laughs> that old. Like, um, there's never any pictures of like Mother Teresa when she was young. Was cameras invented then? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how old, well, like 111 years ago. Um, but yeah, there's never any pictures of like fit Mother Teresa, like 24 years old. Like, looking, huh? That's a good. It's a. It's a good point. 
exactly, exactly. Like bikini pics. She's there on the beach in Delhi or wherever. But where was she from? Calcutta, wasn't she? I, I have no idea. Calcutta got a nice like beachy area, or is it like landlocked? <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. Is, is that what are the resorts like in Calcutta? <laughs> Like these are these are questions that need to be addressed. Um, yeah, that's a good point. She did just turn up as Mother Teresa, didn't she? Like nobody knows if she was yeah. like an absolute whore before. Yeah, exactly. Like she could have been like whoring it around for ages. Like she could have been like stunning. I don't know, but as have we as we looked for, there could be cave drawings of her somewhere. Like, <laughs> cave I don't drawings. Know. <laughs> she was incredibly old. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that or have sex with Freddie Mercury. Uh, I mean, Freddie was a wildly talented man, riddled with AIDS. Mm. Uh, so as far as I'm aware, Mother Teresa didn't have any STDs. Yeah, that's true. I mean, if she did, they weren't, like, reported on. To be yeah. Fair. Yeah, she could always... have had from back in the days when she was a bikini model. Yeah, that sort like... of thing was uh, swept under the carpet back in those yeah. days, though, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, she wasn't that nice of a person. Like, um... Yeah, but, I mean, you know, just, like, what to talk to. That's like when people are like, oh, this celebrity was a dickhead. And it was like, well, you know, if I had... You bothered them. Yeah. Like, <laughs> if I was having dinner with my daughter and you came up and was like, can I have a... Can I have a picture? I'd probably tell you to fuck off. Like, Mother <laughs> Teresa was, like, like, saving the world. If and I came up like... and I was like, can I have a picture of your daughter? <laughs> 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 yeah, that would definitely be weird. Um, no, apparently she was, like, because uh, she's, like, she had those hospitals and stuff, but she was like said that the, the pain brings you closer to God and stuff like that. And then there's, oh, was this Gandhi? Might be Gandhi. Gandhi said stuff too, so. Yeah. I, I think I've got this wrong. Let's ignore that. Um, like, I think, um, but yeah, apparently, allegedly, she wasn't as nice as uh, it was made out. She wasn't very saintly. Yeah, but I mean, like, her first name is Mother, like, so. Yeah, obviously, her parents knew that she was going to be, like, around a lot of kids or something. Yeah. I mean, you don't. Like Teresa's a, Teresa's a weird last name. I've got to be honest. Um, it, it, well, I mean, like, can you imagine? Did she have any siblings? Imagine that. It's like, oh, this is my sister, mother. <laughs> it's my brother, father, Teresa. This <laughs> <laughs> is <laughs> Uncle Teresa. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean, sister, mother? My sister, sister. mother. Sister. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I think I think it's a clear, clearly cut uh, bang bang Teresa, isn't it? Yeah, I'm I gonna go for Mother Teresa. I mean, Freddie had a great voice and was a fantastic entertainer, but it's it's the AIDS that loses it out for him. I'm afraid. Yeah, it, it's, it's a, as if he's sorry, lost Freddie. Out. But I know you'll be disappointed. <laughs> I would rather even yeah even dead Mother Teresa I think is I've less like less chance of getting AIDS <laughs> less chance yeah well Freddie's looking up from hell right now and he's like I can't believe these guys are passing me up <laughs> from hell <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well what <laughs> he did some unspeakable things like <laughs> he was in entertainment in the eighties of course he did. There's no way that he didn't do unspeakable things. This is true. This is just because he wasn't caught doesn't mean that it didn't happen. <laughs> just tarring everyone with the same brush. <laughs> <laughs> if you were anywhere near the entertainment world in the eighties, you were clearly a wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way that no one knew what was going on. There's no what? way. What about Cliff Richard? That man is pure as the driven snow. There's there's nothing weird about Cliff Richard at all. That's what's weird about him, though. <laughs> he's definitely a wrong one. <laughs> yeah, he is definitely a wrong one. And he's, uh, 
And that's the thing is like you, you I didn't actually see the um Epstein list, but there were a lot of people on there that you were like, "Oh, okay." And then you thought about it and you were like, "Oh, nah, that makes sense." Yeah. This is true. I think that well they they released all the actual documents, didn't they? Because there was that list going around for ages, like for about two or three years that somebody had just written up somebody had sat there and gone hit it's basically a list of people they hate and they've gone <laughs> like just titled it epstein list like and all of the conspiracy theories like across the world were like this is the actual list and then when they released <laughs> the actual list like 95 percent of those people aren't on it <laughs> they're all like what no tom hanks fuck like <laughs> yeah so now, yeah. They're, now they're all like no 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 this one's the real one it's like they literally released pages like with of handwritten documents like of who was on these flights, and you've got a list that was made on Microsoft Word. Like it's, it's like uh, yeah. it's like seeing it's like seeing the list on a public uh, restroom wall and just being like, yep. yeah, that's it, that's it, that's that's the Epstein list. <laughs> yeah. yeah, who knew Epstein would come all this way to to the middle of nowhere for this toilet just to write lists? Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Who is huge erection as well? Because he's <laughs> he's on there a lot. <laughs> There's numbers here. There's numbers here for huge erection. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, Mother Teresa then. Yeah, Mother Teresa. I think this one's not so cut and dry. I mean, I know it's the AIDS that does it, but I don't think this is yeah. as cut and dry as the other ones. Right. Yeah, fifty-five percent of people would would bang Mother Teresa. Right. Um, so it's pretty pretty even. Yeah. To be fair, fair out of the ones we've done, there's been there's bit like there's been no outright, you know, it's it's usually no, been they like seem to be, yeah yeah fairly well balanced almost. Um, would you rather kill a kitten every day for a year? Yeah. Or eat a turd every day for a year. Kill a kitten. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I'm not eating a turd every day for a year. Like, nah. oh my god. No, yeah. There's like the the health benefits of eating poo are not great. Yeah, well, that's it. That's it. Also, um, if you decide to kill the kitten, uh, with a sniper rifle, you got to be careful because everything that's far away looks like a kitten. So you might. <laughs> You might end up shooting something that's not a kitten. Yeah, like a a bus full of school children or something. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I thought it was a kitten. <laughs> that's your defence in court, is it, sir? You thought it was a kitten. <laughs> but. Uh... Like going back to the health benefits, like obviously there's no health benefits. You're going to get ill if you eat a turd every day. If you're killing a kitten every day for a year, you can switch it up. You can like do it gets you out the house, basically. <laughs> it like, does get you out the house. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you could you could like you could chase one down like that for cardio, like and stuff. You could uh, drop a piano on it for like arms. Yeah. Like the, the health benefits of killing a, at least one kitten every day are phenomenal. Keeps you creative as well, which is yeah, important. And creative. Yeah, keeps mentally and physically uh, enriching, I think, killing a kitten. Yeah. I mean, there's only like, there's only got, there's got to be only like six different ways that you could cook a turd. Yeah. The, and yeah. You know, like, I mean, e like eggs six ways, or is it eggs five ways? Eggs. Did you get fried, scrambled, poached, omelette? I'm missing one. Fried scrambled poached omelet. Fried scrambled poached omelet. Boiled. Boiled. Boiled eggs. Yeah. Yeah. So turd uh, five ways. Yeah. So yeah, and and there's like just the 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 ways to kill kittens is, I mean, it it it's only as much as your what your imagination will allow. That's that. Yeah, that is a good point. But when you when you get to the end of that year and you have to stop killing kittens. Oh, was it only for a year? That's yeah. disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, to be fair, there's nothing that says that you can't stop. Yeah, can't cat. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you could monetize it as well, if there was a way to get paid to kill kittens. There probably is. I mean, yeah, it's got to be, isn't there? Is there anywhere... There's got to be a country in the world that's just got too many. 
too many, too many kittens. kittens. Just yeah. kittens everywhere. Just yeah, just like fuck, you can't move for kittens. Like it'd be like fucking the, the tribbles in that old fucking Star Trek episode. They're just like getting bigger and taking over yeah, over everything and stuff. You're like, don't worry, I'm a professional kitten killer. Just just fucking <laughs> kittens everywhere. You know, like, open your fucking uh, yeah. you open your um uh, cupboard and there's a kitten and you get like a new freshly fresh pack of coffee and you open it up and there's a kitten just pops his head out and you're like like those old f- biscuit adverts like where they, they open the packet and the kitten comes out of it like fuck yeah like- yeah yeah that's, that's, that's um, why are there so many kittens everywhere go and brush your teeth there's just kitten hairs all over it just like oh. Oh, oh. Oh, I wish my- we had a professional kitten killer <laughs> Yeah, I feel like we'd be doing people a disservice. What, by killing them or by not killing them? By not killing them. By not killing them. This is true. This is true. I'm pretty sure um, this is how most cults start, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I spent all that time trying to look for a job, but like, and now, I mean, I feel like my calling has just <laughs> been like, revealed. <laughs> Kitten shaped coolers just jumped out at you. <laughs> I kind of <laughs> hope you're right that nobody watches these. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I'm right. Uh, um, yeah, let's go. Let's go for the kitten then. Uh, yeah. Oh, sixty-two percent of people would kill the kittens, which is oh, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So thirty-eight percent of people would eat a turtle, which is still a large percentage. That is a lot of people that would rather eat, but uh, yeah, I don't know what their logic is to get to that point. I mean, vegans they 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 feel like they would feel so bad about killing kittens they'd rather eat shit three hundred and sixty five times. I think the first two or three kittens I'd feel bad, and then I'd be like, "It's this or eat shit," and I'd be like, "Okay, well." Well, the way you get past that is you you target ugly kittens to start off with, uh, and then it just gets easier after that. And then like, it doesn't matter how cute they look, like you're used to it by then. Those kittens so, with, like, the, with the the flat faces, oh god. Yeah, just like there's something a bit wrong with them anyway. You've got a gammy leg or something, or you know, like fur missing. <laughs> yeah, mange, bit of mange, bit of mange, yeah. That's that's what you go for first, and then like yeah, then then you're just kind of dead inside by the time you get to the cute ones, and by that time you're just like you're not even like thinking about it anymore. You're just stamping on them, <laughs> stamping, just <laughs> okay. Um, would you rather fuck an old man for four hours or fuck an old lady for seven hours? I mean. Well, yeah. I mean, there's some fit old ladies out there. Yeah, well, how old we're we talking? That's it. Are we talking yeah. Mother Teresa again? Or I okay, think what 111. Mm. Um, I mean, to be fair, I'd fuck, fuck an old lady for seven hours at the moment. It's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think I. I don't know if I could last seven hours. Does it, is it seven hours in one go? Or, I mean, because, like, I mean, on average, two, three minutes at a push, that's a lot of times. Yeah. I mean, we're both going to be pretty fucking sore. She might die. She might die. Yeah. She might die. Like, so. Well, it depends as well, because, like, you got to think of, it's clearly, like, I don't know, a uh, a young teenager that's written this. So you got to think about who yeah. they think is old, and they think people that are like fifty are old. So the teenagers think I'm old. So yeah. like, yeah. If, we, if we're going for somebody that's like about forty-five, I mean, I'm definitely down. Yeah. In fact, the the other the forty-five-year-old is probably looking at this and thinking, "Well, he's definitely the old man. I'm going to fuck for four hours." <laughs> 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 I mean, even <laughs> four hours is going to be pushing it. Yeah, I seven, mean, it... seven is definitely. I think that that's asking a lot of my stamina. Both of those. Yeah, it's going to be sore as well, isn't it? 
Yeah, absolutely. Like fucking after seven hours, there's going to be nothing coming out of there but dust. It's just going to oh. be like air, just like. <laughs> <laughs> When you go, when you go, when when you event, when you after seven hours, when you uh, when you finish, instead of like anything coming out, like you say, it will just be air. So you'll just go over, you'll just go over and use the uh, what would be ejaculation to stoke the fire, just like one of those old fucking push things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just to add a bit. Of... A bit of air to the fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it would be. Just use it to blow up the inflatable mattress you're going to have to <laughs> sleep on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, I think it's fuck. It's it is fuck the old lady though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's fucking old lady for seven hours. Like, yeah, it's not gonna happen. For only thirty five percent of people, we're in the minority there. Right, man. Now I know exactly how black people feel. Well, they think it like well, it's the shorter amount of time doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, fair play. That's some open minded thinking. No, it's not because they're just they're thinking of themselves again. They're thinking about four the hours instead of seven. Have to spend yeah, having sex with an old person. Old people need love too, you know. Exactly. I mean, this is why I'm not allowed to work in old people's homes. Is this way of thinking? But um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, if you do that, then the likelihood of you being written into the will as well is probably. Exactly. Yeah. If you've given her the best seven hours of. Uh, well, at least even just an okay seven hours. Like, yeah, she's likely to, I don't know, feelings could develop in seven hours. A lot can happen in seven hours, I feel. Mm. A lot can happen in seven hours. Can. It's a long time. When, when you're boning old people. <laughs> it's a long time when you're boning old people. Seven hours is a long time when you're boning old people. <laughs> <laughs> um. This next one's a bit stupid um, because the other ones have been been normal. Uh, would you rather always be fat or always be small? It's like, well, one you can't change, right? So, yeah, yeah. Well, no, if you're always fat, you can't change that either. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, you like when you're small, generally. You can't yeah. like it's not like a small person's looking at this and is like, oh well, I'm gonna grow one day, so I might choose always. Be, might choose always be fat. <laughs> nah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, always be small, I guess. Yeah, I get. I guess. I guess it would be always be small. Although, if you're always fat anyway. Yeah, might be all right because then you just you can always be fat, so you you could just just eat what you want. How far are we talking about that? They'd have to remove your bedroom wall to to winch you out of bed, fat. Oh God, yeah, like my six hundred pound life. Yeah, yeah, that. Oh, like like when they eventually do get you out of bed, there's full packets, like six packs of crisps falling out from underneath your tits. <laughs> Oh, like, no. <laughs> oh no! no. <laughs> There's fucking one of the kittens you missed in your belly button. <laughs> I thought that was just a bit of fluff. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? It was. It was. It was meowing. <laughs> well, it was. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was. It's been oh, in there three months. Yeah. Oh, damn, I wonder what that smell was. <laughs> I thought it was just my butt crack. <laughs> it's so... These people are so disgusting. Um, Yeah, I think if it's that fat... But then, like, yeah. that... Okay, so we're going that fat. That versus, like, the smallest person. Are we... What, like... Like... Thumbelina, the borrowers. 
Yeah, no, no, like an actual like size of a person. Even like dwarfism. Yeah, when the but worse than dwarf, like the smallest person. Like oh, right. if that's the extreme we're going to with that one, we've got because you can't be like, oh, is this where we have to remove a wall and then be like, or always be small and then define small as like five foot eight. <laughs> That, that's literally how tall I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, five seven. Five seven, five seven. Yeah, so that's what I meant. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna just. I'm just gonna go. What's the, I'm gonna see uh, Google? What's the smallest um, world's smallest person? Yeah, go on. Um. Ah, oh, world's smallest person is uh, one foot and nine and a half inches. Or... So they're one foot tall, but they've got a nine and a half inch dick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd be a foot tall with a nine and a half inch dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Or fifty four point six centimeters for the one. So that's what, and that was as a like a fully grown adult. Uh, yeah, it was a uh, somebody called Chandra Bahandur Dangai. Um, yeah, was a Napoli man. Who was the shortest man recorded history? That's crazy, isn't it? I don't know how that. Does it say how how old was he when he died? I, I can't imagine. I imagine there was health issues that came with being that tiny. You reckon? There's got to be, really, isn't there? Yeah, I get why. Well, actually, how when did he die? Is he still alive? Let me check. Doubt it. Um. No, he was born in 1939, and he died in 2015. So he was still quite old. Yeah, that's that's a hell of a... 45. I don't know why I'm looking like I'm trying to work that out. It's maths, I can't do it. Um, that's, that's, that's a pretty long life. Yeah, so he was still like 75. Yeah. Or 78, or something like that. So how big was he when he was a baby? Like, was he just... Just came out as a sperm. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a sperm. The most premature birth. <laughs> <laughs> he just walked out of his dad's dick. <laughs> and his dad was just like, we must protect him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he kept him in a little tank until he sort of sprouted arms and legs. Yeah. Then he moved him out, moved him out to the pond for a while. <laughs> uh, fuck it out. Um, uh, I think it would. It is be small, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Like, I mean, if if that guy lived to be seventy odd years old, and like, if you're always like really fat, I mean, that there's definitely health issues that come with that. You're gonna. Yeah, um, it's crazy that both of these people still probably yet have been laid. Do you know? Possibly, yeah. Well, no, because I'm not my six hundred pound life. Like, yeah, they're always there, and then their husbands there as well. And you're like, what? Yeah, yeah. The, 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 there's always a husband and wife, and like, and like everybody that watches those as well is like, just like, how do they? Mm, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just Help finds them. whatever crease he can and goes for it. <laughs> They've generally um, always got a little fat kid who's like a, a complete fucking obnoxious little twat as well. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is, isn't he? So, yeah, I, I, I'm, going, I'm going for small over fat, I think. I'm going to go for small over fat as well. Wow, twenty one percent agree with us. So that means seventy. So they'd rather be fat. Yeah, I don't think they've gone of it as extreme as we. No, have gone. I don't think they've thought this through. <laughs> I don't think they've thought it through either. 
Um, eat your booger or eat your earwax. Uh, I'm going to have to go earwax on this, I think. Are you? Mm. I mean... I've never, I've never eaten a booger, but it doesn't... But I've, like, snit. I've, like, done, like, a... Like that. Yeah. And then, like, you get, like, obviously the mucus that comes down, but then I've had, like, bogeys in that as well and been like, this is gross. Yeah, I mean we've all we've all done that. So technically, you've eaten a booger. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure when I was a child, I was disgusting and picked my nose. So you know, a, a child. Mm -hmm. A child. Yeah. When you know, like when I was thirty. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think. Like. I don't. I don't know. Ear, earwax. No. Earwax doesn't gross me out as much. Does it not? Hmm. I mean, they're both pretty grim. Yeah, well, they're not. Yeah, they're not great. I think. No, nah, I think I'm going to go boogers over earwax. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. I mean, they're both not great, but I think it's got it's got big people. There's like it. It's a common thing for people to fucking pick their noses and stuff, but nobody's sitting there fucking digging in their ears and then like chomping on that. Yeah, but that's the thing when when you eat the earwax. Is that it's going to be like um, a very tiny lolly, isn't it? Because you always get it on the the end of the cotton wool bud. So you pull it out and you're like, oh, okay. And then you just, you just, <laughs> get, like, <laughs> you just get like that. Whereas <laughs> people, with, <laughs> if you do a bogey, you're just going to pick your nose and be like, oh, mm, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I think well, the earwax, I... the earwax is a much more, you know, like Michelin star experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, three Michelin stars. Like you'd have to go out of your way to do the earwax thing, but with <laughs> with the bogies, it's like a one Michelin star. The bogies is like just eating a little chef, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. like a, a wimpy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, yeah, I, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go boogers. Okay, well, we'll you're, you're the guest, so we'll go for, we'll go for boogers. Oh, cool. but I do think it's a mistake. Oh, seventy-two <laughs> percent of people agree with you, so there's a, there's a lot of snot chompers out there. Well, there there's are, not so, aren't there? Not so many earwax, ear wankers, earwankers. <laughs> ear <laughs> You can make um, you know, you can get candles made from your own earwax. How much earwax are these people having? Fuck knows. I'm, I'm, I've always wondered. Like, is it a case of you go back multiple times and they like store it up, like, or how big those candles are gonna be? Yeah. <laughs> is it like Shrek? Or a tiny like... little candle. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shrek, where you just. Yeah, drags uh, it out. <laughs> yeah, they'd do anything, wouldn't they? Like, like the the woman that made um, what was it? She made bread from her vaginal yeast or something oh, like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ah, like why? Vaginal. Yeah. <laughs> vaginal. <Well>, the... <laughs> vaginal. <laughs> vaginal yeast. Yeah. Vaginal yeast. <laughs> <laughs> this girl showed me her vagina. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> Best vagina <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> vaginal, vaginal yeast. <laughs> yeah, man. That is crazy. I would tell you what though, I wouldn't mind trying a bit of like breast milk ice cream though. Um, that doesn't gross me out. To be no, fair. no, I don't. I don't know. I like breasts. I like milk. What is what's the worst? I think it's it's that thing like because obviously we're fed on it as a baby. 
Like, and we drink cow's milk, and it's the same. Like, it's it's the cow's version of that. Like, it's the same thing. It's there to feed their young. Whoever discovered, like, what I don't know what they were doing originally to discover that you could drink cow's milk. That's a good point. They probably just saw the the calf drinking it and was like, yeah, yeah. But I don't know because I because if anything, having some ice cream from a human breast is not as weird as having it from a cow. Yeah. Because we're, we're supposed to drink... Uh, at, I mean, when we're young, obviously, we're supposed to drink human milk. But as we, like, we're never supposed to drink a cow's milk. <laughs> no. Like, it, it's, it's not... It wasn't, like... Like, however... Yeah, it was never originally meant for us. Yeah. But when we've just stolen it. <laughs> <laughs> from, from the calf. <laughs> <laughs> from the calf, yeah, <laughs> and occasionally we're like, "All right, you can have a little bit, like you." But we've got a the rest of it's going to Asda. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Imagine that. Imagine coming into the like the first the first day. Uh, I'll I'll play I'll play the calf, and you can play the guy that discover discovers that cow's milk is drinkable. Okay, right. Okay. Okay. Ready. Hang on, you're the cow. Yeah, yeah, I'm the cow's milk. I'm the calf. You're the calf. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, okay, gotcha. Oh, um, that... Is that nice? That... Mm. The milk? Yeah? Right, okay. Um, Now, t- obviously tell me no if this is weird, but how about I have a little bit of that? Mm. That sounds like a yes. That sounds like a yes to me. So shift over. Shift over. Let me just get a latch on to the teat. <laughs> and the mum just says nothing. No, she's like, yeah, yeah. She just lets it happen. Yeah, well, I guess oh. it's it's like when the, uh, for a person, a human, when they're, the um, milk the breasts becoming gorge and it gets uncomfortable. They're like, just get it out of me, just yes. get it out of me. All right. It doesn't matter who has it. <laughs> just like all of my maternal instincts are gone. Yeah. <laughs> I am so uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Do women get like that? Are they like just oh, just I don't care. Like I whoever's see, nearest. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've been in mother care and I've seen. Uh, a woman in there throw her baby and be like just get this milk out of me and all of the single dads just ran over <laughs> <laughs> why were you in mother care <laughs> yeah research <laughs> just waiting for an engorged woman to all pass yeah. I <laughs> this was, is the I place was, to find a I was certain one day it would happen, and uh, you know, <laughs> my hypothesis was correct. And after being walked out, <laughs> escorted out of seventy-three different mother cares, you finally <laughs> scored. <laughs> they said I was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all see? Y'all see? Um. <sighs> All right, let's let's do this one. Um, would you rather be rich but a hundred miles away from civilization, or be poor and live in the middle of a city? I mean, rich. This is, this is easy. Rich and miles yeah. away from civilization. If I ever became rich, I would move hundreds of miles away from civilization. Right. Like literally. Like, <clears throat> I mean, I'm not a huge fan of people in general but to also have loads of money like it's that whole thing like people like the the one the lottery and stuff get fucking begging letters of complete strangers like and stuff so one of the funniest conversations i ever saw when i used to run pubs and stuff was three blokes sat at a bar and two of them were chatting and uh they was talking about winning the lottery and it's like what would you spend it on there was like, like the usual stuff like massive holidays and cars and stuff like that. And the third bloke was just kind of sat there all quiet. But they was sort of chatting. And then one of them goes, like, what about you? What would you, 
what what would you spend like all the money on if you won that much? And he went, it doesn't fuck him up. Because what do you mean it doesn't fuck him up? He goes, because I'd never see you two pair of cunts ever again anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. You but, yeah. I'm living, with you, mate. Yeah, living miles away from civilization does not but it sounds nice. Just also, it's like a hundred miles, but they're thinking that if you've got to go anywhere and you've got to drive, just get a chopper. Yeah. You're rich, man. Well, you, yeah, exactly. Just get it. No, right. you'll get you'll be there in I mean, twenty minutes. I don't want to brag, but I've got a couple of million in the bank on GTA and I bought like loads and loads of uh different helicopters and stuff. So, you know, that that's the way for I'd live my best GTA life. Yeah, yeah. Just right when you when you did go into town, you just run around punching hookers and stuff. Yeah, yeah, like running running the police over and stuff. Yeah, yeah, but it wouldn't matter because then you'd just be like, "Oh, I'm sorry. Here you go. Here's twenty grand." And they'd be like, "Oh, fuck, yeah, all right." Yeah. <laughs> or if you if you hid under a bridge for a little bit, the police would leave you alone, even though you've <laughs> just killed, even though you've just killed twenty four policemen. They'd just be like, "Wow, well, we can't find him." And then you just drive out straight afterwards, and those same police would be like, "I don't think that's him." Apparently, that's what it's a bit like in um, some places in America at the moment. Like, really? Yeah, yeah, no, because I watch a bit of like I watch Joe Rogan, and um, yeah, and he like they talk about like um, like there's there's certain laws that people can break, and the police just won't do anything. So it just sounds like that. People like they'll they'll run in and steal like a certain amount of goods and run out, and the police won't even they won't even get a one star on there. <laughs> they don't even get one star if it's not over a certain amount. And then if they go hide under a bridge, they'll be like, ah, we'll never catch him. <laughs> well, they have the police like stopping them and just like taking stock of what they've got. Oh, you're you're just under, so off you go, you <laughs> scam. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> If you'd had one more baguette, then we would have, we would have <laughs> got you. <laughs> That's the thing, isn't it? It's like, and if they lie, if they lied about it, and they were like, "Oh, they they stole this amount of stuff," and then then they found them, and they didn't steal that amount of stuff, they be the 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 place would be done for wasting police time. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking horrendous, isn't it? Yeah, why have you called us? They're allowed. They're allowed this much. <laughs> <laughs> stupidest fucking stupidest thing. Uh, what's it called? All right, okay. So yeah, rich. Obviously, be rich. Yeah, yeah. I'm good with rich. <laughs> really? Well, do you know what's weird? Is that's not a hundred percent. That's seventy six percent. What was? What was the other love the I dismissed it so quickly. Some people out there love the city so much that they want to be poor. In a city, I mean that's most people's general life, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Would you rather be rich, live miles away from civilization, or would you like reality? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and those 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 people were like, no, no, yeah, I'd, I'd just like to continue living this paltry existence. Thanks. <laughs> Some people are just lying to themselves, or maybe it's the millionaires that have just said that they would rather be poor. And <laughs> I. Doubt it. <laughs> yeah, I doubt it. <laughs> um, all right, would you rather walk in on your own father masturbating to a picture of you? Again. Okay, again. Yeah, again. <laughs> <laughs> or have your mum walk in on you wanking to a photo of her when she was 18? I've got to go, mum. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's a different. It seems at first a difficult choice, but I've got to go, Mum, because you could just be like, "Uh, you didn't know," and you'd be like, "No, no, yeah, I definitely didn't know." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, your dad wanking over a picture of you is—I mean, that's sinister. Yeah. Whereas what you wanking over a picture of your mum when she was eighteen is perfectly healthy. Well, not perfectly, but it's more healthy than. Well, than actually, your yeah, dad. That's... yeah. Sorry, I thought when it said when it was my dad, I thought it was a picture of me as a child, but that's what I thought when I read it. But it's just a picture of me now. Yeah, it's just a picture of you. So that's fine. Well, it's not as bad. 
it would be weird, like if your dad, <laughs> if you ever heard your dad saying to someone, "Yeah, I'm like." And you should caught him wanking over a picture of you as a child, and then you're at like a family gathering. It's like, well, they have to grow up, don't they? Let's <laughs> they don't stay cute for long. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. Both of those are wildly traumatizing. Yeah, they are, aren't they? I think I think it's got I think it's gotta be mum though. Yeah, I think I'm probably with you on that. I don't yeah. I mean both of those I mean, yeah. Okay, right, I'll I'll play I'll play your dad. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and you can play you walking in on your dad. Right, okay. Okay, right, you ready? Yeah. Oh, Dad, did you... Fucking hell. Get Do you out! remember the pill? Get out! Get out! Is that... Is that a picture of me? I said get out! It's not even a good one. Here, like, fucking... Let me just take my shirt off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were very understanding in, in that. <laughs> you were like, oh, fucking hell, is, is that you seemed almost flattered. You were like, is that me? Oh. <laughs> he's been through a lot. <laughs> I'm just glad he's happy. And it, like, to be fair, it just means I get to spend more time with my dad. Oh. <laughs> 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 So which what would which one would you prefer? Uh yeah, mum, I think. I think I'm gonna go mum as well. Hope my mum doesn't see this. Yeah, same. <laughs> well forty one percent of people uh agree. So uh <clears throat> so what so is it? Fifty nine percent fifty nine percent were were the dad. That's right. crazy. Although, how many of the people doing this are women? That's the thing. I doubt many. I doubt many. Yeah, this, this seems like a very blokey thing to do. Yeah, doesn't it? Um, I, I doubt you know who these people are, but would you rather be Goku or be Naruto? Uh, I mean, I know the names, but I don't know who they are, no. That's, is, that's um, Dragon Ball, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, so Goku's Dragon Ball and Naruto is is Naruto, which is uh, the name of the show is Naruto. Oh right. Yeah, yeah. So um, I'll catch you up. All right. So sure. I'll start from the very beginning. So Goku crash landed on Earth as a baby, as an alien. It's a bit like Superman. Superman. Yeah. 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 Um and. He was going. He was supposed to go there to destroy the Earth, but right. when he came out of his capsule, he fell off and he hit his head, giving him amnesia. And then he met his grandpa Gohan. Grandpa Gohan taught him how to fight, and then how he... Did... he met his grandpa. Like his grandpa was already on Earth. Oh yeah, he calls him Grandpa Gohan, but it's not really his grandpa. Sinister. Yeah, yeah. There was no. Well, from what I know, there was no fingering. Um, but, right. but and then from there, Goku basically has loads of battles and goes through like a really thing, and then realizes he's a Saiyan, which is someone from somewhere else. And then he fights loads of other people, goes Super Saiyan, and then he, it's about pushing his limits. And he goes Super Saiyan two, and then he goes Super Saiyan three, and then he goes to Dragon Ball GT and he goes Super Saiyan 4 and then Dragon Ball GP isn't canon so then they do Dragon Ball Super so he goes Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan Blue for short and then he gets Ultra Instinct and that's pretty much where we are at the series at the moment so he just gets like stronger and stronger and stronger pretty much that's pretty much the the whole thing he likes to fight people and he gets stronger and he's a Saiyan that's his that's his old deal right okay yeah. 
And Naruto is like a young kid who has a very tragic backstory. So basically, you don't find out till later on, but he is he wants to be Hokage, which is the leader of the village of the Leaf. All right. right. And he wants to be that because he had such a bad childhood because people didn't like him. And the reason people didn't like him is because he had something called the demon fox that lived inside of him. And when he was born, the demon fox showed up in town and killed a lot of the townspeople and a lot of people's family and stuff like that. How did, how did it show up in town if it was inside of him? Oh, it wasn't always inside of him. So the, oh, it got so, in him as a baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which also sounds a bit sinister. Yeah. Um, yeah. But basically what happened was, right, um, they have these people called Jin Chiriki, and Jin Chiriki have these... Jin Chiriki, uh, Jin Chiriki, Jing Jin Chiriki. <laughs> have, have, have these demons inside of them because they use them as weapons to fight other villages. Right. All right, because they're all ninja villages. It's all ninja villages. So they have these demons and, inside of them. And- a lot of ninja villages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, basically, his mum has a fox insider, uh, which isn't <laughs> <laughs> right. And then she normally looks like quite dowdy and like put upon and stuff. But she's like, when she's out, she's a fox. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a bit of a vixen. Yeah. And. Um... And then somebody comes to try and steal the weapon, but when the Jing Cherokee loses their tailed beast from inside them, they die. So it came out, and then it attacked the village under the control of someone else, and then Naruto's dad, who was the leader of the village at the time, took him away from the fighting, and then he was killed by the beast, and so was his mother, and then before they could both die, they sealed the beast inside their baby boy. And then he grew up, in the village, um, alone with nobody else, unaccept- unaccepted by everybody, and worked his way up into it with his own grit to become Hokage, the leader of the village, and everyone loved him. And then it went on to a series called Baruto that was about his son, and it was terrible. Uh, and that's <laughs> that's I've that's, caught you up. Ah, cool. I mean, on the basis of uh, of that 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 retelling. Uh, I think I'd have to be Goku. Like, Naruto sounds kind of shit. Yeah, does seem easier, doesn't it, to be Goku? Yeah, if Goku's just getting stronger and stronger all the time. Like, does it every time they, they like, is it one of these things where every time they make him stronger, they're like, this is the strongest he can be. And then they're like, oh, no, we'll go do another series. Pretty like, much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm I'm all for getting stronger and stronger all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's pretty... Without doing that's... any real work towards it. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is Dragon Ball, when he was a kid, is actually a good series. And so is Dragon Ball Z, which is when he's like an adult. But it's basically... Mm. The, the whole thing is like, he gets stronger to beat enemies and he doesn't always win. Um, but it all works out in the end. And that's it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I think I'd probably go for Goku as well. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I think so. 56% of people agree. So, Fair play. Yeah. All right, well, we'll make this last one. And cool. this one's seems a bit easy because it's just, would you rather fuck Miley Cyrus or fuck Justin Bieber? I mean... Yeah, like, I'm, I'm Miley Cyrus, she just seems like she's filth. Yeah. Like, Justin Bieber just looks filthy and is a dude. So yeah, I mean, also, you know, Miley Cyrus, I'd come in her like a wrecking ball. <laughs> <laughs> it was so signposted, but still made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like even with her, her like weird Marge Simpson voice that she seems to have now. Like, yeah, I would. Uh, I definitely did you ever see that Black Mirror episode she did? No. It's very good and she's quite good in it, I have to say. She's quite she's quite talented. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, she used to be my uh, what's it called? Hannah Montana, didn't she? Hannah Montana, yeah. Yeah. So, so obviously can... this isn't this isn't the case of not not then, that Miley, because 
that that Miley's a child. I'm talking yeah. about now Miley. Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, cool. I mean, not of course. Just to clarify. But, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I mean, you yeah, know, um, she's quite talented. She's obviously she was an actress, and then uh, and she's got a really, I mean, like you said, she's got a Marge Simpson voice now, but she's got a great voice, and her new newest album is unbelievable. So. I've not heard it. I mean, like, I don't. I, I heard that song that was doing the rounds like a lot before. Uh, well, that was quite. I catchy. can buy myself flowers. That's one, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But isn't and that like just a retooled version of another song? Probably. Um, yeah. But it, it is a good song. But it's just one of those things that the radio just decide to play it all the fucking time, and then yeah. you're like, I hate this song now. Yeah, yeah, and it was like on every fucking video on social media. Like yeah. TikTok and everything. Um, yeah, man. But yeah. but yeah, I yeah, I think that's a fairly cut and dry Miley Cyrus. I think so too. I think we'll find out how many men and women do do this from from this. Because if yeah, I was a woman, it would it would be just it would be just well, it. yeah. Um, but let's go let's go for Miley then. Let's check out Miley. Cool. Seventy one percent of people agree. Seventy-one percent. So yeah, it's mostly dudes doing this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're not surprising, <laughs> to be fair. Um... <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I guess that brings us to the end of this. Then I don't know how long we've been doing this. Quite a while, I think. I think it's been a couple of hours. I think. Has it fucking hours? Jesus. Well, like, at least an hour and a half. Oh, okay. Well, we missed like the first 10 minutes or 20 minutes didn't we so we did we did yeah. yeah okay well um lovely um i've got to edit this now great um yep. so <laughs> so this has been me doing would you rather uh with my guest lee smith who runs a if if anyone watches this that lives in bournemouth he runs a gig in southbourne at a place called sid slaps uh, which is last Friday of the month. Last Friday of every month, yeah. Last Friday of every month, and uh, it's a nice room, and it's uh, and Lee's quite funny sometimes, and um, yeah, I'd recommend, <laughs> I'd recommend going down. It's uh, it's uh, it's good to support local comedy when you can. Here's Sam. No worries, man. Um, that was fun. Yeah, thanks for having me. No worries, mate. Um, have a good one, and I will see you some other time. Yeah, man. Ta-da.